second vlog of the day because I'm really excited about snow. Um, I just I've liked this video for a very long time. GoPro skiing and Whistler. Um, 45 inch fresh pal pineapple express this was my favorite video for a very long time i still love it there are some great powder skiing shots in this video absolutely great powder shots just ski um tree skiing on black home and whistler read the description i i did that on purpose but i don't really know why at this point on the previous three days, a Pineapple Express moved through Whistler dumping a massive 45 inches of snow. Wait, didn't Hunter say how much Mammoth had last video? Can we go back and check? Oh yeah, Mammoth has 154 inches for the past storm. Oh, I forgot. Oh, which one is bigger? Alright, so... Compare 154 to 45. Let's see. Let's do the math. Looks like Mammoth has just about three times more snow than Whistler did in their Pineapple Express a few years ago. I literally thought this was the most snow ever. I was like 45 inches of front. And honestly, 45 inches is a lot of snow. That's a really good dumping from Mother Nature. But the fact that I'm looking, man, Mammoth is just going to totally spoil me. For the rest of my life, I'm going to think that these numbers are small because when I was 15 years old, Mammoth all of a sudden got 154 inches from one storm. And I only skied twice that year, so I didn't really get to experience. Man, I swear we are going all out when we go in January. I am, I want, I wanted so badly to be able to skip school one of the days. Um just so I can like get to have another day of skiing because honestly this is the most brilliant thing brilliant brilliant thing that's like ever happened in the history of it um I just I oh my gosh I it's this is so insane um so I'm going here and then I'm going on a scout trip in March which um, they should still have 20 feet, I, the, but there probably won't be. I mean, there's not even going to be fresh when we go. Maybe if I try hard enough, I can. This is an Eminem guy. Maybe if I try hard enough, I can find some freshies um, down in the Eagle area. But other than that, like in the forest in, under Eagle and besides like bridges, Christmas tree, if you ever go to Mammoth, I'll tell you guys and no one else. That is a secret spot. That is my one of my favorite spots to ski on the mountain when there's powder. Um, if there's if there's no fresh snow, then honestly you're wasting your time on Eagle Lodge all day. Go do something fun with your life. Go on solitude or something. But um, if it's snowed recently, Eagle Lodge is the best place to get some great sashes because everyone else is gonna be out like. Um, well, if it's still snowing, they'll be on 20 and 21 because they'll try and open those. Um, but most people are going to be get, trying to get their powder on the back off 22. Um, not many people, not, yeah, not many people think of Eagle Lodge as a place to get their powder tree skiing in. In fact, no one does. Um, so, at least from my skill ability, there's definitely some parts that are really fly. But, you know, Eagle... As most beginner spots, you know, it'll be flat and then there might be a steep place and then, you know, there's that one spot on Eagle that's steep. If you go down the forest in the steep part, you can get some steep powder run for a good 30 seconds. But honestly, no one ever goes and gets the powder in there, so it is great. I found a song yesterday and I've kind of been listening to it all day. It's called Candyman. It's like the Eminem song, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a 90s kid. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's from the 90s either. I'm just, it's a commercial that a lot of other people might know about, but I don't. But, um, I mean, I literally have it open right here. It's called Candyman by, like, Zed and Aloe Black. I don't really know the artist, but honestly, this song is so happy. And it's, there's nothing bad about it or anything. It's like walking through my past life where everything was joy and it feels so good. And, and oh my gosh, it's such a brilliant song and it's the most, it's so upbeat. It's a, why do I do this? It's so upbeat and, and it's, it's an absolutely great song, but 
Ideally, you want to listen to this song, like you want to put in your headphones for a run and just be listening to this song and have the, have, you want the beat drop to be right when you get over that ledge on downhill, um, on off Canyon Express, go, and it feels so good, and then you're all of a sudden going straight down downhill at 8.35, 8.37 in the morning when it's still perfectly groomed. First one down downhill, you're just going straight down. I'm moving my feet, but you can't see. But wow, I'm just skiing. And you're just, that is honestly the best experience you could ever have. So definitely something to take into account. Does your computer have a hangover? That, I don't know, it's just a Google ad, okay? I'm just reading the Google ad. Anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this shorter vlog, but you guys deserve a shorter vlog because all the other ones have been long. So I'm gonna end this off. Um, moral of the story, you should really think about heading up to Mammoth if you aren't gonna go. Um, worth flying across the country. Before, if you're gonna fly and go skiing, you would have gone to Utah, but now you go to Mammoth because what did I, wait, what did I say the other day? Oh yeah, Mammoth has the most snow in the country. Base step, 130 to 245. Brilliant, absolutely insane amount of snow. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you just like the video, leave just like. No one share your opinion. In the comment section. I used to do this, like. Oh, be like the dislike. Don't want to share your opinion in the comment section down below. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Wait, this vlog's not over yet. Just a side note. The largest ski resort in North America, Whistler Blackcomb. Um, well, how, wait, how many inches did they, did they get cumulative this season? Out of every single storm this season, 209. Definitely a big number, but it's not even close to getting near to Mammoth's base. Oh my gosh, y'all hear me? Whistler Snowfall there that was cumulative i can't even imagine how many cumulative inches mammoth has got but get this the base at whistler drum roll please is 73 inches ouch jolly ouch so mammoth has three and a half times as much snow as whistler at the top whistler got the oh 73 inches oh we have 245 Get out of here. Just go away. Y'all, oh my gosh. Just, that's so much snow. It's just not even funny. 209 cumulative inches. The fact that their cumulative snowfall for this entire season isn't as much as the base. If you guys um, study, if you guys have looked at snow charts before, snowfall crafts or whatever, you know that, um... I just completely lost my train of thought. You know that when snow falls, it doesn't add to the base, like a math equation that you could do in first grade. Um, okay, maybe first grade, third grade or whatever, I don't know. It, it doesn't add up like that. If you have 100 inches of snow and you get a storm that brings you 154 inches, your base doesn't go up to 254 inches. Um, your base goes up to maybe like 170 they measure snowfall generally speaking with how high the powder is non-compacted the base um is generally compact and snow just it's just the fact snow when more snow falls the numbers just don't add up they don't add up like you, they, you think they should you get you have that much and then you add this much and then it's just this much you know it just it doesn't it doesn't add up so the fact that our base is 245, our cumulative for the season is not 245, the base is not all the snow that fell. The cumulative has got to be in the three, maybe four hundreds, because it's all the powder that falls, not before it gets compacted and math gets screwed up. So yeah, keep that in mind. We are way better than Whistler. Eat my dust, Whistler. I'm skiing Mammoth this year because you don't have enough snow. Get out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow.